Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safety webcast. This will be a four or five part video series on how to deploy a two tier public key infrastructure using Windows Server 2019. In the first part of this video series, we are going to prepare a test lab using Oracle VM VirtualBox. Before we start, let me tell you I'm not an expert on certificate authority deployment. I am creating this video guide from an article available on TechNet website, but that article is based on Windows Server 2012. So I am just recreating that scenario with Server 2019. I will provide the link of that TechNet article in the description area. So for more information, you can refer that TechNet article as well. Okay, for this demo, we are using total three Windows Server 2019 virtual machine in Oracle VM VirtualBox. Again, I want to remind you all that this is a test environment created in VirtualBox, so you can have an idea about the configuration steps. If you are deploying a public key infrastructure in your environment, you should have to prepare a plan for it. You have to assign a proper name. You have to plan out the validity of certificate authority and certificates. But right now, for this demonstration, I'm using this test environment in Oracle VM VirtualBox. Now this is the first virtual machine which we have. You can see host name of this server is offline root, and this server is part of our group. We have assigned one IP address 172.18.72.3, so we can copy certain files over the network between our other servers. Once we install and configure our enterprise subordinate certification authority, then we will set down this offline root certification authority. So on this server, we are planning to set up offline root certification authority, and that's why I have given the host name according to that. We have another virtual machine. This is our domain controller ws2k19-dc01. The server is a root domain controller for mylab.local domain, and as you can see, the IP address which is assigned to this server is 172.18.72.5. We have a single domain Active Directory Forest, and the use of this server is to provide Active Directory services to our enterprise subordinate certification authority. Now let's jump to our third virtual machine. As you can see, the host name of this server is MyLab Issuing Sub. This is going to be our enterprise subordinate certification authority in our two-tier public key infrastructure. Right now, this server is a part of a work group. We are going to join this server to our Active Directory domain mylab.local, and for this demonstration, already I have assigned the IP address 172.18.72.4. But again, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to show the current IP configuration. Let's right-click on Ethernet adapter, go for the properties, select Internet Protocol version 4, and click on properties. You can see I have assigned the static IP address 172.18.72.4. And our gateway is 172.18.72.1, but the most important thing, as you can notice, that our preferred DNS server's address is 172.18.72.5. That is the IP address of our domain controller. Now I'm going to click on OK button, and let's click on close. Let's close this console as well because we are going to join this server to our Active Directory domain mylab.local. To do that, I'm going to click on Work Group. Let's click on Change. And select domain. Here, I'm going to specify the name of my domain, which is mylab.local. Once we provide a domain name, then after we need to click on this OK button. It is going to ask for the user credential. I'm going to use the credential of our domain admin, and let's click on OK button. Okay, welcome to the mylab.local domain. Let's click on OK. Click on OK again, and click on Close. I'm going to close Server Manager Console first, and let's click on Restart now to restart the server. Okay. After restart, we are going to log in on the server using the credential of our domain administrator, which is administrator at mylab.local. Now here, I'm going to click on the user, and we need to specify the name of our user, which is administrator at mylab.local. Once you provide user password, then press Enter key to sign into this server. Okay. We have successfully logged into our member server. But the host name mylab is using sub, and as you can see now our domain is listed there mylab dot local, and we have logged in using the credential of our domain admin. Already I told you that we have a only single domain active directory forest, and that's why 
administrator of mylab.local is also a member of domain admin group and enterprise admin group so in short i want to say we have a sufficient privilege to install and configure all rule services on this server on this server we are planning to install active directory certificate services with certificate authority role service and certificate authority web enrollment service and as well as later on we will also install online responder service to configure ocsp role on this server as well now i'm going to install web server role on this server because we want to set up a web based crl distribution point and ai location later on on this video series so first let's install iis service on this server to do that i'm going to click on manage and select add rules and features click on next so if you want to set up separate web server for crl distribution point and ai location that time you can also go for it but uh, as for the testing purpose i'm not going to create a separate server for web services so we are going to install web service on this server as well here i'm going to select role based or feature based installation click on next a local server is already selected click on next and here i'm going to select web server iis let's select the checkbox and we're going to add features to add required features as well click on next next here you can read brief overview information about iis we don't need to add additional role services in the iis so simply i'm going to click on this next button and let's click on install to start the installation process now as you know that once we install iis service on our local server default website will be there we can access the default website using the url http colon double slash localhost or we can use the url http colon double slash fqdn of that server and as you can see the fqdn of our server is mylab issuing sub dot mylab dot local and that's why i want to create alias name record in the dns server so other users can access this website using www dot mylab dot local url let's go back to our domain controller on domain controller on so manager i'm going to click on tools because we are going to open dns management console let's expand for the lookup zones and click on mylab dot local you can see we have our two records one for our domain controller and the second one for our member server let's right click here and select new alias see if you want you can also create new host record associated with www dot mylab dot local app qdn but we are going to create a alias because indirectly we want to redirect that fqdn to our member server our alias will be www so our fqdn will be www.mylab.local and this fqdn is pointing toward the another fqdn which we are going to browse let's double click on our server name let's double click on forward lookup zone let's double click on mylab.local and here mylab issuing sub is that that is the fqdn of our member server which i'm going to select so indirectly if user going to access www.mylab.local they are actually accessing mylab issuing sub.mylab.local and this fqdn will resolve the ip address 172.18.72.4 so request will be indirectly redirect to our thus a member server fine let's go back to our domain controller and click on okay fine now i'm going to close this console let's go back to our member server okay as you can see installation has been completed successfully i'm going to close it first i'm going to turn off uh, internet explorer and hence security configuration let's click on on and for administrator i'm going to click on off let's click on okay and let's open internet explorer because we also want to verify that we are able to access the local website using that url www.mylab.local so let's specify the url www.mylab.local and let's press enter key fine as you can see the default web page is there that means we have successfully installed web service iis on this local server so now our test lab is up and ready and we can start deployment of two tier public key infrastructure with windows server 2019 in our test lab in the next part of this video series we will see the steps to install and configure stand alone offline root certification authority 
on our Windows Server 2019. And this will be the server where we are planning to install that CA. That's it for this video. Thank you all for watching this video.